time for part two of testing vintage as seen on TV products. Oh, Blaze, come join the party. Up, oh, sniff them, sniff them. Oh, I gotta sneeze, but it's not happening. I swear I'm allergic to these old things. All right, so uh, let's get into it, shall we? Blaze wants to. First one. We are redeeming the terrible potato thing that I tried last video. This is the rotato. <laughs> Instead of the potato machine, it is the rotato. So this, you can peel cucumbers, zucchinis, onions, carrots, pears, apples, plums, and kiwis. It's the fastest way to peel anything. Okay, so this isn't huge. So this doesn't do the same thing, but we're gonna demolish the potato one way or the other. This just peels food. Who knows? Let's try it. Let's rotate some stuff. Oh, is that mold? First off, the amount of dust. What's that? What's that growing on it? Oh God. Okay. Oh, is this mold? Someone tell me. I'm scared of everything. Oh God. What is that? Did that come from this? Oh dear God. This needs to go far away and never come back. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wash this real quick. We cleaned her up. She's been so we're gonna do this on two different foods. Cause it says you can do it on a bunch of different foods. It's meant for potatoes, like peel your potato before you do something with a potato. I don't know why you'd wanna peel an apple, but we're gonna try it with the apple first. You just put this on there, lower this, put that on there, and then, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, we're doing something. Oh, and we ended it. So we just uh, put little slices inside of it. What did I do wrong? So it said it was supposed to peel off in one continuous motion, but it did not do that. I'm gonna try it again. Hold on. Over this. Okay. No, 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 no. All right, well, let's try the potato. All right, because I feel it's a, it's a potato. So let's try the potato. Put that there. Ready? Lower this. Let's give you a close up. And here we go. Just quick question, does that look peeled to anybody or is it just a bunch of random little slits inside of a potato? The thing with this versus the other potato twirly thing is uh, that one just didn't work overall. This one's like functioning but not doing anything. So it gives you the illusion that something great's gonna happen, but then it doesn't. That was extremely disappointing. There's nothing left to do. I just ruined two pieces of food and nothing came of it. Next product, I guess. We're gonna stay in the kitchen because this one, oh, she vintage. This is the seal meal. <laughs> oh, yes. These things still exist. This is still a way to do life. People live by this still. So let's test it out. I love the, the old timey as seen on TV logo. It gets me every time. I love it. I don't think you know how badly I want this to work. Don't do another thing until you read this recipe and instruction book. It's too many words. I'd rather just try it. Oh, look at the little labels. That's adorable. Okay, so we have to plug this in, lift the lid. Okay, red light's on. I have to wait two minutes for it to warm up. This just seems like poisonous cancer, right? I don't wanna waste like really good food. So we're just gonna put a rice cracker in it. <laughs> just cause, that's what I wanna save. That's it, it's almost ready, 30 more seconds. So you put this, there's these little holes in the side that goes into hooks over here. Then you push it down, count to three, and it seals. All right, ready? Three. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a little hot. Let's give it a second. We have a seal. I can seal a meal. I mean, it works. Look at that. And you could reseal it multiple different times. Like all of, like here, you could do it multiple times. I gotta say, it works. I'm sure the bags were expensive and annoying to get refills of. These kind of things exist still. But to be the first of its kind, I mean, it, it held up to this day. I'm sure this bag is not healthy for you, but look at the cute little package it came in. This one was a wit. And the fact that you can like reheat your meals in the bag, like you put the bag in a warm water and it reheats your meals or thaws out your vegetables, like get out. This was a great invention. I'm never gonna use it again. <laughs> Ziploc bags, beeswax, Tupperware. I mean, they all do the same thing, but this was great. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we have a product that did exactly what it said it was gonna do. 
All right, next one. This one's a toy, and I don't know how to play it. Go, go, top. Hours of fun from 6 to 60. Safe and unbreakable. No matter how you throw it on the ground, it comes up spinning round and round. As seen on TV. Longest spinning top in the world. Maybe there's a YouTube video on it. There's so many different ways to enjoy go, go, top. Are there? Are there? Let's see. I've been trying to figure out these instructions, and they make no sense to me. It was a string with no loops, not tied to anything, and this ball thing. It says tie loop knot on the end of the string. So I copied that and it said slip loop end of string halfway down the third finger. Got it. Hold other end with left thumb on the center of either ball and wind string around center of two balls until the go-go top fits in the palm of hand. Like this? I don't know? Throw go-go top down and away from you and pull back string sharply. I have no idea what's about to happen, but let's find out. Oh no. Oh, I have you out here. I don't want you eating this. Ready? Go get it. Throw it down away from you and pull it back sharply. What? What? What is it supposed to do? Let's try this again. Ready? What is this toy? You're gonna eat a string. Can, can I have my toy play? Ow! Please! Now it's all covered in dog slobber. Let's up FaceTime my mom and see if she knows what it is. I'm filming a video and it's the vintage As Seen On TV products and this is a go-go top, but I don't know how to do it. Do you know what it is? You don't know what this is? Uh -uh. This package doesn't look familiar. No. Hey Tim, do you know what a go-go top is from olden days? No, he knows what a go-go dancer is. Well, we all know what a go-go dancer is. All right, I just can't figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. Do you bounce them back and forth? No, they're solid. All right, thank you. Ugh. All right, let me Google it some more. I figured it out, I figured it out, I figured it out. It's the stupidest thing in the entire world. I think I figured out by the name of it, a go-go top means like top. Like, that sounds like such a strange word now that I say it. But a spinning top. This, I hope I can find a Google image of it. This is what this is. So because it wasn't working, because it was bouncing into the grass, it has to stay on a level concrete floor. Ready? Oh, dang it! Ugh, you need like a freaking you again! Okay. Ugh. I'm getting angry. I need more space than I have. I got it to work, and in the middle of it, my SD card told me it was full. I'm going to try this one more time, and that's it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, well then this toy will just be between me and it. For the sake of my sanity, I'm gonna stop playing with this toy. Apparently all you do is throw it on the ground and it just spins in a circle for a really long time. So that's what fun this toy was. Man, wish we still had toys like this. They made quality things back in the day. To the next quality thing. Okay, this is the rhinestone and stud setter Ronco. Ooh, girl, we've about to look good. We're about to look shiny, fresh. That sound weird coming out of my mouth. I have a jean jacket that I like to destroy, so let's see if we can destroy it. This is gonna be good. Okay, this is my jacket. This is where I keep all my pens and my patches. This is gonna be so bad. Yeah, oh, flashbacks of my mom making me pajamas using patterns that look like that. Oh, this looks like quality machinery. None of this makes sense. This is in another language. What? I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I wasn't sent all the parts or what is happening happening, but nothing makes sense, and I'm really confused. So I have this stud that has like little tiny like clinging legs that's supposed to grip. So we're gonna put it at the end of this, that there on that one, even though that's not correct. I know that's not correct. This there, oh no. You know what, I'm just gonna do this, and push it down, and it's, it's, 
it didn't happen. It didn't, it didn't stay. Let me try it again. I don't even know what any of this is for. Does this do hickey? Does this do hickey do anything? This do it. In theory, we have it in. And, but that's just in theory. I'm truly trying to figure out how this is supposed to actually work, but this doesn't make sense to me. My brain doesn't compute this, but also some of the things came assembled, so I don't know if I can take it apart to reassemble it. What's going on here? Wait a second, did I figure it out? Hold on. Wait, I think I figured it out. That was terrible placement. I'm redoing that. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I know I'm still not doing it perfectly correct. So I put the stud inside that one, put that one in there, put a spring in that, do this, and then do this. <gasps> we, oh God, we did it. I figured it out. Oh, yes. Yes, don't mind if I do one trillion times more. I definitely am missing parts, which is fine. I get it, not a big deal. So this came pre-assembled like this weird doohickey. I know I'm still doing parts of it wrong. Bring loads on you. Decided I want you there, down, and that's the noise you're supposed to hear, I assume. And boom, you have a tiny little stutteroo. And then you can take this thing and make sure all the little feet are the right way. I think, I have no idea what I'm doing. How does my collar look? Is that a stud-worthy collar? Is that legit? No, I think it looks pretty cool. I think that's nice. My decision on this mess is, I think back in the day, if I knew how to use it and I had all the parts, this thing would be lit. Did how we explain things change from back then to now? I think the wordings and understandings and how we speak is different because this, this was gibberish to me. Okay, this is the last one. I'm very excited about this. I highly doubt this is gonna work. And then also I think it simultaneously will burn down my house. The tiny dryer. <sighs> wait, hair dryer bonnet included? Whoa, wait, I saw it as this side first where you can put in clothes one at a time and dry them. Like, oh, you have that bra, bra scarves, pantyhose, gloves, panties. If you have this tiny little thing, you need to dry it. I thought that was that, but wait, if there's a bonnet hair dryer attached, we're going to try this in the morning and see if it blow dries my hair after I wash it. I don't wanna get my hopes up. Let's see if the bonnet is included. Am I going to get lice? Something that I'm going to have to risk. <gasps> Try this tomorrow, Blaze. Blaze is sniffing it. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, it smells. Okay, my hair is clearly wet. I wanna say don't mistake it for being greasy, but my hair's always greasy too. It's just really greasy hair. If I don't wash my hair for a day, it gets really greasy. I try and hold off every other day. That's why it looks like I don't ever wash my hair. Just one day without washing my hair makes it look like I never wash my hair. There are no instructions. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to like have my hair up in curlers, but we're just gonna see if I can blow dry it without that. We are going to for sure burn my house down. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, so excited. Oh, I'm very excited. Hey, turn it on. I'm so, hey, turn it on. Oh no, excuse me. <laughs> Do I have to FaceTime my mom again? Oh, there, okay, oh. Oh. Okay, I'm very confused. Oh, is this, does this pull up so you can put the clothes in here to dry? Is that how that works? Okay, we're gonna do that second, but first I wanna do my hair. Seems that this just goes on. Ooh, Nelly. Oh God, okay. How do you get this on? I wanna get, I wanna get you on this. Just, yes. Oh, dang it! How did people function before products that actually worked? Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. And then, supposed to blow out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna put my head in here. I'm pretty sure my hair is supposed to be short or up in little curls. That's not what we're doing today, ladies. <laughs> okay, all right, and there's a pull tab back here. Yes, 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 perfect. Okay, I feel it, feel it on my head. Not very hot, kinda like just cold air blowing on your head, kinda getting in my ears, smells old. Kinda like person next to you has their window rolled down and it's kind of like annoying you, but you'll live. Okay, now it's kinda getting hot, it's getting a little hot. It's getting, I don't like it, it's hot. I don't like this. All right, I gotta turn this off. I'm sweating, my head is sweating. My hair is 
still wet. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's drier. I'm gonna say that it is drier than it was. Obviously, if I stayed in there longer, it would get dry, but I would start sweating buckets of sweat and need to take another shower. So I'm gonna say the blow dryer works. The machine is very hot. Obviously, part of blow drying your hair is like blowing it out and getting it like poofy and big. So I think maybe if you've got like short hair, your hair in curlers and your hair needs to dry, like you put them in curlers when they're wet and then you put that in and dry the curlers. That that's a thing. I didn't die. It functioned. It's not the best and I don't like it, but it lives up to what it said it was gonna do. It could have dried my whole head if I stayed in there longer, but let's see if it can dry some like a sports bra or something. All right, sports bra, it's wet. Put it in, close that. Now here on the bottom, I didn't show you this before. It's got a little thing that says timer. I think each switch, I think each notch it goes up makes it be in there longer. My thing with this is it's not like thinning it, so only one part of the sports bra is getting dry. You feel me? Like in a dryer it spins, so it evenly is dry. Unless the whole thing gets gobbled up by a blanket, which happens all the time and it's really annoying. Well, I have it on the R. I don't know how long that is, so I'll get back to you when this stops. I think it's on a timer. It says timer, but I don't know if that's for real or not, so I'll get back to you. Okay, that stops immediately after I turned this off. So I think that was one minute. Definitely not dry. So let's put it on the E. I'll get back to you. This has been going for about five minutes now. I thought it would stop, but it hasn't. I'm just gonna move it a little bit. I think it's, I mean, it has to be getting dry. It's not super hot heat. Like it's definitely warm, but it's not like melt your face. I don't know if this has a timer. It's been about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna turn it off because like I'm tired of this. It's definitely not quick. It's getting dry. I will say if I left this in there, this would get dry. The top part is dry. The bottom is not. You can see the color difference. If I left it in there for like a half hour, an hour, it would get dry, but it would also dry faster if I just like hung it up or put it in dryer. <laughs> but this works. It's just not the best, but that's because we keep advancing. But this was actually a product I wasn't super mad about. Like it turned on, it heated up, but not too much. It's, it functioned. This was wasn't a total fail. So I'm, I'm proud of this vintage as seen on TV product. Good for you. Good for you. Now get out of my life. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If there are any other vintage as seen on TV products you'd like me to test out, please send me a link so I can purchase them. I found all of these on eBay. I don't know where else you would find them. Maybe in your garage. I love you so much. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Check out my vlog channel where I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or mainly, no, just three times a week. Sometimes the days are off. And make sure you're checking out my podcast channel, All Things Internet, where I post new episodes every single Monday with my mom. Love you guys so much. Be smart, be good, vote, think about others, not just yourself. Ooh, am I Oprah?